Good evening and welcome to the June 2023 meeting of the Penfield Library Board of Trustees. Thank you for joining us. This is a public meeting and is being broadcasted on Penfield Public Broadcast and is available afterwards on YouTube. Do I have a motion to adopt uh, <clears throat> today's agenda? A motion. Jennifer motions and second. Uh, Judy, all in favor? Our first item of this evening is the approval of last month's meeting and finance report. So I just have one edit for the minutes. Um, can we just redact the public participant's address because he was a minor? But then other than that, I'm, I'm okay. I have a motion to approve. I motion to approve the revised minutes. Perfect. Uh, second. 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 Harish, all in favor? Uh, we have any? Do we have any public participation? It doesn't look like. I'm going to go to the uh, financials. Oh, go ahead. So I'm just going to um, go over the financials. So the financials. I want to start uh, from the most important kind of. Jen reminded me this uh, today that we have a CD that's renewing. Um, it's a large CD. It's about twenty-one thousand dollars. It's held at Canandaigua National. Um, Normally, we would just we would try to renew it at the best rates. Um, our cash balance at Family First has been going down, um, as expected. That was our goal, um, but we do have a bunch of anticipated expenditures um, that. <coughs> Let's see, we had about $10,000 that we voted on for the May, May board meeting that we're gonna be about, probably be uh, spending on, and then some new tables that we're probably gonna be spending money on, not sure. So I, right now, recommend not renewing this CD and moving the money to Family First in the savings account um, so it's easily transferable and we don't hit with, get hit with an early withdrawal fee. Um, and I can always transfer it to the checking if we need access to it. So it's mainly for more liquidity that I'm hoping for. Um, do you guys have any comment on that? If not, then can somebody, uh, can we have a motion to approve what I just said? Motion to approve. The second. second. Jennifer. So All in favor? Can we just say the motion aloud so that the Anna Okay, can so um, can we please not renew the CD? Um, and instead, we'll move the money to Family First in in savings. The CD that was due in, on July, July. 5th, I yes. think, for $21,000 will not be renewed. Correct. 20000 21. 21. Thank you. Uh, Can you put the mic in front of me, please? Oh, sorry. So we got the motion and second, and everybody. Everyone approves. Everyone approves. approves. Cool. Thank you. Um, going on, our gift and memorial fund um, was largely unchanged from last month. Our operating budget um, is positive. It's, it's going well. The, <clears throat> what I'd like to spend time on right now is the monthly budget summary. Um, these, this is data through May. Um, so May is five months out of our 12, so that's about 42%. So that's our threshold that we should look at. Um, if we drop down to our expenses, so far it's coming in at 36% compared to the 42% that I just stated, it's 6% better. So overall, that's a great sign. Um, coming at the most significant part of our budget, wages, we're 4% better there. Um, we're significantly better on the materials line. That's 17% better. Uh, when we look more closely to it, um, direct books is coming in at 27% right now, so that's 15% better. So I, I, I firmly anticipate more books being purchased in the coming months. Contractuals, that's 6% better. So all in all, it's been a great month. It's been a great year so far. Um, so good financial control, Rhonda. Thank you. And that's pretty much it for our um, financials. Can someone make a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve. I'll second. Second, Tana. All in favor? Perfect. Uh, 
On to the next item. Doesn't look like there's any public participation tonight, but we do have a card from the uh, library staff uh, thanking the Board of Trustees for the wonderful gift that we provided. I will pass this around for all those uh, to read. Uh, on to the next item. Uh, Linda, as the town liaison report. Yeah, heavy summer. Yeah. You know, we're halfway through the uh, amphitheater series. Right now, Jumbo Shrimp is performing out there at oh. the amphitheater. We have uh, five more to go, and then the last is in September when we have the Taste in the Blues Chili Cook-Off. But um, so that's going well, and you know that one day I think it rained, got rained out. But otherwise, um, and you know a week from uh, Saturday is the parade. July first is next Saturday, and uh, it'll start at 10 a.m. the parade, and at night, starting six o'clock, there'll be activities at the Harris Whalen Park and fireworks and at 10. So you know, please come out; it'll be fun. And, uh, you know, the town's moving on. The bu it's budget time. You know, all the department heads are meeting now with the supervisor and uh, whoever uh, else it may be invited to talk about the, the uh, budgets for their departments. And um, it's, you know, summertime. So <laughs> a lot of activities for the, the kids and uh, the sports and everything else. It's um, going well here. Uh, is there any questions or anything? Just a reminder that, you know, anybody who wants to walk with the <coughs> library at the parade, right. you're welcome you to go. join us as library patrons or library trustees or library mm -hmm. staff, whatever you may be. Um, we have right now, I think, five library staff members and I think about 15 teens walking with us. Nice. Mm -hmm. So we'll be a nice group and we would love to have more people walk with us if possible. And we have um, purchased plenty of candy to distribute as we walk. So it should be fun. I love it. Us. Yeah, we ran out of candy last year. Well, we have twice as much now. <laughs> Don't be so generous. So, so kids in our, the kids in our families can join also, right? Yes, yes, please. You know, you know we really would love a, a large group of people. The library is everyone, so come. What kind of candy? That's important to know. <laughs> Non-meltable -melt candy. <laughs> I've been carrying candy for years. Yeah, you always go and get the... The kind that doesn't melt otherwise. Uh, the, you don't know what the weather's going to be. Out of curious, are we doing any shirts or anything for the, what, the parade? Well, the it's, it's interesting because um, we just purchased staff shirts for all the staff members. So I don't know if you, oh. it hasn't gone out yet, but we took a picture of the staff wearing the staff shirt. So on the front of it, it's like a royal blue. It says um, Penfield Public Library on the front with the logo. And on the back it says, reading together since 1942. Mm -hmm. really oh, nice. Right. So, um, but I think most of us going to the parade will be wearing the, sum, the Summer Reading Club shirt, which okay. is um, all together now. So you might not see our shirts then, but something's coming out on social media pretty soon because we just took a photo. Nice. I want to reorder some for the Board of Trustees or those that care about the library like to you know well it can't, you know it came from outreach <laughs> money so we have to oh, use okay. our yeah. funding correctly but um we could if you if anybody wants to pay for a shirt we can get the exact yeah. same design and we can certainly do that yeah, yeah. it's awesome. cute it's always Thank good you. advertising yeah. yeah watch watch for the photo on facebook it's it, it's a cute shirt it's nice I like okay. it. anything else for the town not that General? i could think of anyone else have any questions for linda and always you know where to find me all right, well, thank you so much, Linda. Sure. Uh, we go on to the next part of our agenda, the Friends of the Penfield Public Library Liaison Report. Judy? Oh, friends, sorry. <laughs> Busy talking, as <laughs> usual. Um, I have been in contact with Sue Lyons, who mm -hmm. is a present co-president, um, and uh, they have, you know, uh, their other president, she's in, um, is Shelley Hayes, so the two of them um, together share this responsibility. So they have been working on quite a few things. So they're continuing to work on the September book um, book sale and all categories are going to be available but their donations are down so they were wondering if we had any recommendations or ideas for them I know it's quick off the top of your head but um, donations I put it on the yeah, uh, library website well they the have it's yeah. there. Yeah. It's there already, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Is it, you know, like um, Penfield 
Um, food Shelf has their bins around. I don't know, are they allowed to do that? To put out bins like at, I don't know, Wegmans or um, someplace? Yeah, I don't yeah, know if they're allowed to do it, that. Now it's at the town board meetings too. I mean, yeah. you know, give, well, us then, a, give us something. You know, it would be uh, something to advertise and put up on the, a flyer to put up at the community center at the town hall. Right, right. They can and, put it up on the smart board even. I mean, you know, there's yeah, things. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll, you know, I'll suggest, um, suggest, suggest that for them. Um, so they're also continuing, they would like to um, continue a heavy membership drive. So you were talking about the amphitheater, amphitheater things coming up. And so they are, they do have a table at the amphitheater. Um, you know, encouraging them to join, uh, people to join, um, because their uh, philosophy is that the more people join, the better revenue for the library. Sure. So, which is, you know, definitely true. So they will be setting up tables um, at the Tuesday concerts. And um, so now, and I think we talked about this last month. Um, they are in, I won't call it desperate need, but they really are prioritizing a vice president for the book sale um, and a president. So they, you know, the, the gals that have run it have been outstanding for years and years. But as, as in everything, everything moves forward and people move on. So um, that is one of their, you know, their priorities that they are, um, they're also looking to create a, um, a master, what is she calling it? A master apprentice training model mm -hmm. so that their succession planning can have some continuity and continuance uh, along with, uh, you know, what the responsibilities are of that. So if you know anybody who's dying to be the president <laughs> or vice president or, um, the, of the book sale, they are, you know, looking very forward to having somebody like that. And it's difficult to give up something that um, that you have been so connected to for maybe 20, 25 years. But, you know, that also includes new ideas and um, suggestions for, you know, how to get more people in, so whatever. Um, they're also trying to streamline their friends' meetings um, and they will continue to have an open annual meeting. Um, I have a meeting with them on Thursday as their trustee liaison. So um, we're gonna do some thinking, I guess, about where this is going and how it's going to move forward. Uh, so, and, and they are working very hard. Um, they wanna work with the foundation for better communication and f more frequent communication and alignment with who does what. You know, the, what's the role of the friends and what's the role of the foundation and, you know, what does that mean and how does that change? Um, and how do they work together? So uh, that's basically, um, that's it. They do want to thank uh, those of us who were able to attend the uh, luncheon on the 9th, um, Brett and Naraj and Justin. And um, they have some retiring friends. Mary Maley is retiring as the um, president. And, you know, their special thanks goes out to Rhonda and Peggy O'Neill and Shelley Hayes and Carol Peppy for the jobs that they've done and what a good job they've done. So that's basically my report. Um, anybody have any discussion or ideas or suggestions or, you know? Well, I do have one idea just, you know, around gathering books. I know we talked, there was a mention of like place and bin somewhere. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while you see, I think it was just like the the Webster band did like a bottle drive where they had the flyer and said, hey, leave your bottles at the end of the driveway. It might be a matter of, you know, people not having the energy to, you know, take them to the library physically. So maybe you have to go to uh, the neighborhoods and actually do like a collection like that. Yeah. An idea. It's a lot of work. 
You know, that's a good idea for like a scout project. Or it is. You know? Yeah. Yep. Okay. You could probably have them put that on the flyer or, you know, on the website and it call, call us if you have yeah, for pickup. Right. <clears throat> that would be a great, you know, a great thing. Community service. I mean, mm -hmm. they've always got, kids always have to accumulate that mm -hmm. community service time. So, um, yeah, I think those are, you know, that's a great idea okay. for them. Um, I have not been able to attend um, a, one of their meetings, so I, I don't know. Do you know if they have people interested in moving up? They've increased their membership. No, not um, yet. So they don't yet? No. Okay. I hear the strategic planning meeting says really good food and drinks. Out. <laughs> that always works. <laughs> you know that works all the time. Yeah. So, but that's where they are right now. Um, they are thinking also of doing another small venue um, book topic uh, mini mm -hmm. library sale like they did. Um, the children's one, I think, went over very well. So... Um, yeah, so that's another thing on their list. They have lots, you know, they have a, a lot going on, and they've made a, I think they've made a whole 360 um, change since, in, you know, in the past five years. Mm -hmm. But, um, so I think they're doing terrific, but they would like to do more terrific, so there you go. Absolutely. And just a reminder to the public, the friends of the <clears throat> of the Penfield Public Library, they do provide a lot of funding for extra activities uh, within the library, great resources for us. So uh, if you have books or if you want to go volunteer or support a great group, I strongly encourage you uh, to do so. Uh, does anyone have any questions for Judy or any other thoughts? I'm going to meet with them on Thursday. So I'll take all of your ideas and your suggestions and your questions. So. Awesome, Judy. Thank you so much. Um, okay. With that, we move on to the committee reports. Naraj, I know we did the finance. Anything else to report besides mm -hmm. the CD? No. Perfect. Personnel, Anna? Nothing. Jennifer with strategic planning? Not at this time. Justin with the bylaws? Uh, there is. <laughs> Uh, you guys love bylaw changes. <laughs> uh, so per our last meeting, uh, we wanted to change Article 4, Section 2, and add an amendment. Uh, you have it all in your, your printouts, adding Amendment F. To prevent conflicts of interest, the president and director will not participate in the trustee selection process of the personnel committee. Further, the town liaison may be involved in the selection process as a representative of the town board would be what the new amendment would read. So we would need a motion to adopt. I'll make a motion to adopt it. A second. A second. Jennifer, all in favor? Awesome, Justin, thank you so much for that work. Um, Judy, anything to report with communications? No, I don't. All right. And then we go on to the next uh, part of our agenda, Rhonda, with the director's report. Um, thank you. Um, so you can see our circulation is definitely going up. Each month we've been ahead of the previous year, so that is great. Our people count is also going up, increasing since last year, which we expected. Um, summer hours begin this weekend of June 24th, which is this weekend, this weekend. All right. <laughs> so going forward for the summer, Saturdays were open 10 to 2, and Sundays we are closed. Regular hours resume after Labor Day. And that's when the new weekday operating hours which will begin. They were voted on last month. Monday through Thursday will be 9.30 to 8.30. Friday will be 9.30 till 6. Saturdays will go back to 10 to 5, and Sundays 1 to 5. So we went to Penn Fest, and I don't know if you watched the news that night, but we were actually on the evening news, which was pretty exciting, and we met with 357 people. So that was super successful and a lot of fun. The volunteer lunch was terrific, and we thanked the friends for all that they do, um, and all of our volunteers. With everybody's so amazing. It's, they're wonderful. Um, summer reading programs begin very soon. Registration has already begun. And we want to make a note that people are aware that we have a new summer reading game for preschool children. It used to start at kindergarten and um, 
we just decided that younger siblings should be part of the action. So we have a special program just for them. So there's something for pretty much every age. If you are able to toddle, you can, <laughs> you can be in our summer reading club. Um, thank you to the trustees for providing a special breakfast on June 6th. The staff really appreciated it. And three, staff, three, trust, three trustees were able to come and say hello. Oh, and a fourth one came late. <laughs> mm -hmm. But thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, we have been talking about safety quite a bit these last few months. And we had two sessions of active shooter training this month. And I think we're up to like something like 90% participation for our staff, for our regular staff. So we got almost everybody in for that training, which was really beneficial. Um, and we thank the Sheriff's Department and all of the people involved who helped us with that training. Uh, Marie Benedict's um, talk is has been rescheduled. It will be August 15th at 7 o'clock. Those who are registered will be re-registered automatically, and they just have to let us know if they don't want to come. Those who are on the waiting list will be back on a waiting list and will be notified if they can come. Um, the town board did include an agenda item about the library's Brayman room at their meeting on June 7th. So we should soon be, know which contractor will be awarded that project and we can move forward. Um, I did request a meeting with Supervisor Juror and the town attorney because um, I don't know if you've been seeing in the news how many First Amendment audits have been happening in our area, in Monroe County. Um, and I, we had added last year into our code of conduct the rule that persons cannot take photographs of patrons without the consent of the director. And I wanted to make sure that that was okay to say that in our code of conduct. And he said, yes, we can keep it in. Um, it might not really be... Um, if somebody sues us, obviously, you know, we might not be able to defend it, but we can we can make this rule for now. So we're good with that. Um, lots of meetings, uh, and and you might have heard in the news also, Newman Rieger Library Board had a book challenge that went all the way. So a, a lot of the directors in Monroe County went to stand with the board and the director, and I went, and it was fascinating. So should this happen, at least I have a little more knowledge about it, but. Um, Really interesting stuff. Um, very, very upsetting. Uh, that's pretty much it. And just you know, going forward, though, I want to show you that um, we had some interesting reports from our librarians. Candy, for example, was invited by a private uh, group, the Retired Teachers of. I forgot the name of it. Maybe a Rochester. I think it's New York State. Well, no, I think New it was York Rochester. State? Yes, because yeah. we had a conversation a about it. Yeah. So she yeah. went to their book club. Yeah. Their, their actual club and, and facilitated presented. a book club, which yeah. was. You know, I think that's just so wonderful that our staff members can get out in the community. And uh, I also wanted to note that um, our young adult librarian, Stephanie, invited um, Fran Francesca Padilla, a young adult author, to come. And we had 26 teens come, which is amazing. It's really <laughs> hard to get teens to come. And our children's librarians have been hosting outdoor story times, very, very successful. The kids have been outside when they could, when the air was good. <laughs> So some, some interesting things happening at the library. That's my report. Any questions? Well, I particularly, mm -hmm. I have a comment more than a, well, I have questions also, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> I always have questions. Um, I particularly liked the, when each of the librarians gave their summary of what happened over the month, mm -hmm. I particularly liked their comment at the end. It just made it more personal and it made more meaningful Thank and you. it just made more sense than, you know, hearing, okay, we had 26 people come. And that's wonderful, 26 people come. But when you have that little personal um, note, it just, you know, it just helps, I think. Yeah, um, thank you. I, I will tell them. So. Or even mm -hmm. like the social media person, I think, said, oh, this is was the most popular post. Or right. Something. It just gives it more, it was interest, more interesting <coughs> to read. It was the children's furniture on yeah. Instagram, so that was nice to yeah. see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do we have any plans to do anything with the children's chairs? I think we're going to wait and see how yeah, I think so. the budget goes. And so when we were, when the town approved us, mm -hmm. did any of those um, contracts that you, contractors that you had um, contacted before and gave us a, a 
bid. Right. Are they being included? Yes. Or Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay. I was just curious mm -hmm. if you had to start, you know, if they continued to do it. Okay. So. Just a follow-up question on the, the contractors that gave us bids. Are we worried about it all, about, like, rising prices or, or costs that have we did include that possibility we when we requested okay, the funding. We, we asked for, I think, about 3000 extra. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just Sorry. in case. Want to make sure. Do we have any idea when they're thinking of, I mean, once they I think they, they get four weeks it? from yeah. that meeting on June right. 6th. So beginning of July, they, the they have their deadline. And at that point, mm -hmm. um, you know, because now it's a town project, it's right. in the hands of the town <coughs> facility people, and they'll, you know, they'll work with me, and, and I'll keep you abreast of everything that's going on, and we'll learn something relatively soon. But we really don't want to start work until after the Friends sale in September. Right. Summer reading is going forward now. We need the room. We can't give it up for even a week. Yeah. Um, and it probably would be two or three weeks for this project. So we want to wait until mid-September. So we're not in yeah. that much of a rush, really. Sounds good. What are our summer hours? Summer hours, um, Monday through Thursday, 10 to 9, Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 2, close Sunday. Okay. So they didn't change? Well, the, the weekends changed. The weekend changed. Right, but the, no, we don't change until after Labor Day. Right. For the new one. Yeah, got right. it. Right. Right. Okay. Any other questions for Rhonda? How did staff react to the new hours? Any pushback on it? Or? So we, we actually divided the staff up and we had a morning yeah. session and an afternoon mm -hmm. session to make sure that everybody felt comfortable and had enough time to ask their questions and be heard. Um, we're, I think we're in a good place. Okay. Well, it's a big change. Right. For it is us, a big really. change. I mean, it's been a very long time since we've changed the hours to an earlier start. So. Has it ever been? I don't know. Maybe we've always started at 10 all the way back. I don't really even know. But, you know, that was one of my first thoughts when I came on 10. Uh, I don't know. It's a little <laughs> late. But we did a lot of research. You know, it wasn't just my opinion. You know, we did a lot of research and we did a survey and we all together. And the staff agreed. They saw all the data that, that it's a good change. So I think it will be fine. But thank you for asking about them. Appreciate it. But it, it. was a middle of the road. It was. It's the, the choice that we chose was the middle of the road one. Mm -hmm. Nothing real extreme. Right. So. Yeah. Yep, so all those little kids that are up at six o'clock in the morning, they can come to the library class earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, thank you so much, Ron. Sure. We have no unfinished business and we have no new business. We'll go on to the claims pay, uh, payment. Uh, this month uh, it was Jason, I believe. Yep. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I did it. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. I think you, you motion to approve the right. amount of yes. the right. So I make a motion to approve the amount of $22,000, 578 and 49 cents. Awesome. Jennifer seconds, all approve. Uh, next month we do have Megan. That is correct. And then, uh, do we? Our next meeting is July 18th um, at 6:30. I think we'll have enough people to attend to have a quorum. Uh, do we want to discuss the August meeting now or wait until July? I, I, we do need to set it with PCTV. They need to reserve the date for us, so if we can discuss it tonight, it would be helpful. Okay. So Marie Benedict is coming the night of our August meeting, so we cannot meet. We need PCTV at the library, not here. Um, and plus, I need to be there. Yeah. So, and, and all of you would like, I'm gonna maybe would like to be there. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming. Um, so PCTV has the, and this room, to use this room, we have the following dates. Um, Tuesday, August 22nd, Wednesday, August 23rd, Thursday, August 24th, and we could do it at 6.30 like we usually do. We could do it earlier if you choose to. So Tuesday the 22nd makes the most sense because we're used to Tuesdays if that's a date that we could get a quorum. So I'm, I'm not going to be there that week, so. Okay. But you're not going to be there all week, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm Any one of those days works for me. I say go Tuesday. I'm, I'm, I'd be happy with Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm good Tuesday. with Tuesday. I'm good with that. Okay. 
So the next meet, the August meeting then will be Tuesday, August 22nd at 6.30 mm -hmm. as usual? Okay. Do we need the vote on that or no? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a motion to approve change in the August meeting to August 22nd, which is a Tuesday at 6.30? Motion. Motion. Have a vote. Second that. Second. Thank All you. Approval. Perfect. And with that, uh, we will adjourn for tonight's <coughs> meeting. Um, oh, I have a motion. Yeah, I have yeah. a motion. I have a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting. <laughs> I'll so second. Perfect. All the proof. That's pretty cool. <laughs> 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 it was <laughs> <laughs> Mirage thinks he.